Okay, looks like I'm recording. This is kind of going to be a, an improvisation, and I'm going to just take it as I go. I, I don't do a lot of fancy things on this channel, and I, I just feel compelled to make a video about this subject, because recently I watched this movie called Idiocracy. I'm sure, I am pretty sure most of you have seen this. If you haven't seen this movie, <laughs> It's 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 very it's a very funny movie. I mean, if you if you like kind of dark humor, but it's it, it's it, it, it's it's rather funny, yeah. But I I think what I'm trying to get at is I'm gonna I'm going to just um, give you my opinion, okay, about the movie and the stories in these movies that I'm going to show you. In this particular movie, the people through the future as time progresses people become dumber and dumber and dumber each generation is less um knowledgeable less or less smart less is is not as smart as the previous generations and i think it it wasn't so much that in the story that the the, the they make it out that humans, that intelligence has been bred out of people within a matter of 500 years. Where I, I think it's really culture that is becoming stupider. And that's what this really this movie is trying to say, is that culture, is that popular culture, and has, has, affected, has, has affected so much into the normal educational system and the political system, and the social world that popular culture has destroyed the social world in a way it's kind of like the um that the, the, the baser nature of people has been encouraged and that's that's led up to the situation that this that these individuals find themselves in in the far future which is set at 500 years from the present and they use a lot of um um, copyrighted words of the names of businesses in the in the movie, and I think that's why the movie failed. I think the movie was not promoted because they used names of existing companies in the throughout the film, and you'll see that. And also, there is a um, it, it, it's very uh, if you're a very serious person about politics then this movie, you may not like this movie. So, in a way, this could happen. In a way, this, this could happen, but not in the way that they're portraying it in the movie. It could happen in the way of restriction on knowledge and about suspicion of people that are curious about hiding information, destroying information. Essentially, taking all of the world's information and science and knowledge uh, that's been that's that 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 have been that has been discovered up until today and destroying it and burying it and keeping and restricting it from people learn and from people to become learned make make people keep people stupid if if that's the if that's the goal if that's the the agenda of whatever is trying to get society to become more stupid then this is the kind of future that they're going to be aiming for. Now, if they or them or whomever, who's whomever, if someone, if some elite group is out to control the world or take over the world or politically dominate the world, then the majority of the people that are that will exist in the future will end up similar to what this, this, these people in this situation in this movie in the future are going to be like. That's just my opinion, okay? Take it or leave it at that. Excellent movie. If you haven't seen it, see it. Um, the other movie I have is that's that that's similar along those lines is this movie here, Elysium. It's the same situation in the far future. The the dominant group of the people that are in control that have power that are that are directing the civilization. That are they're the ones that are that are moving society in a direction have caused a separation and so you have an elite group of people that are very wealthy that have escaped the earth that have built a, a huge um, space station out in space and they live in these perfect communities where the environment's controlled it's the water's clean the air is clean there's no disease no one gets sick and they have a machine that can rejuvenate people and cure their 
illnesses and re restore their youthfulness. And they live in this kind of isolated utopia up in the sky. And the gentleman that he's a, a worker in this factory that works to make robots that are used exclusively mostly for military and police and also in the in the court system there's there are eight artificial intelligences that are the police that are ro that are robotic police and ro robotic um armies and it's it's a scary situation but this is another situ this is another scenario that it looks like the future is going towards this same thing i'm saying about the other movie the two those two these two movies kind of connect to each other in a, in a weird kind of a way about well what could the future be like if things keep going as they're going um and, I, and this movie is actually could be a sequel to this movie right here um Gattaca I don't have the DVD I have a VHS of this this is another really good movie but this takes place in the future where people most people are genetically engineered from birth and there's only a few people that slip by that are naturally born people that aren't genetically engineered, and they're the ones that are the that are that take the that take the redundant jobs that are doing just the trivial work, and then the then the elite people that are that are bred to be superior, um, intellectually superior, physically, go out into space, and they're chosen or elected to to go to the special schools to learn how to become an astronaut. And this guy here, he fools, he tries to beat the system by getting someone else to to co-opt with them to get to the, to become an elite astronaut. So this movie is a, should, could go easily, the story could go easily together with the Elysium movie. Where this is sort of like the same thing. Or only the elect few, the elite or the special, specially engineered bio people get to go to the best place. And the rest of the people are kind of stuck um, on the earth, and sort of that's in the future, right? You think about well, if the if things continue like they are, what will the future be like? And that's sort of where I'm going with this movie review. I'm not telling you about the actors or the setting or the really the 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 deep the the technical technical details of the movie. I'm sort of getting into the stories and what how the stories have kind of made me think about the future. Now, with all of this, like, okay, the, the, the environment getting contaminated, so the air gets dirtier, there's more uh, radiation spread out all around, and, and, and there's less of a clean environment. So what happens is people build domes, like big indoor cities or underground cities, and they live in these kind of gated communities that are under these bubbles that are cut off from the rest of the world, and they have their own society, their own laws, their own system of government, their own cu culture, their own way, and they're, they live in, in an isolated, self-contained kind of a bubble, um, isolated from the rest of the people, the elite, the, the wealthy, the, 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 those that are, that are superior in physical fitness and mental c capabilities have cut themselves off from the rest of the world in these isolated domes type cities and the other two movies are along the same lines as like what will what what could the future be like what could happen in the future if things keep going as they're going like if we reach a technological singularity um what could happen now here's two distinctly different kinds of situations in this situation the artificial intelligences are are kind of are grown from the bottom up so they grow they they build robots and they make robots more and more and more sophisticated and finally there's a robot that has that has a emo it's capable of having emotions and feelings in this situation a small boy robot is made to be take the place of a, of a child that's in a, in a comatose state for, to help the parents have it they want to have their own child so this is a robotic child but in the movie itself it it, it 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 really gets into detail about what could happen with artificial intelligences being kind of robotic servants to to the humans and this in this situation here so this in this movie here is really a different kind of movie i would have to say this movie here um it really gets to the point of well if someone created an artificial intelligence 
and they themselves kind of bootstrap themselves into being that intelligence and they had good intentions and they were benevolent and they were kind and they had been a human before so they knew what feelings were they knew what compassion was and empathy then what kind of a if they became an artificial intelligence that be, that was able to rebuild itself and make itself smarter and, and more powerful but it was a good intelligence this movie really hits home in the story okay it may not you know it's a good movie it's okay it's i would recommend watching it it's kind of intellectual you know it's not it it has a kind of an i won't give away the ending but it's kind of an odd ending but in the movie he's good he's a scientist and he wants to help humanity he wants to do something that will help people that will create a good something good in the world and his in that was his intentions was with a, a lot of help from his wife he 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 scanned his brain his consciousness became inside of the computer so it's really interesting but this movie really made me think a lot about the if if ai was good if ai had if someone who was a g really good person a benevolent person made ai and caused themselves to become an artificial intelligence uploaded their their um their they scanned their brain into a computer and that computer became them then they could rebuild they could make themselves remake themselves and work towards a common good of the maybe the of the elimination of suffering altogether could could come about because of if the if the right person did this if someone had if they ever came to this able ability with technology to, for somebody to do this it could have they could really do a lot of good things it could really help people they could like solve energy problems and really hard political problems or really difficult um problems with engineering and things like that could come about if somebody was able to do this so that's just my thoughts about movies in the future um thanks for stopping by